And so what I would like to do, I would like, I'm, I'm going all over, next month I'm going to Australia to do a con, yay! <laughs> um, Richard and I are doing cons all over the place. And I want to get this topic started. I want all of you to get a fire under yourselves. When you look at all these young girls and they're not small enough in the waist and they're not small enough in the hips, there's something very, very wrong. We're talking bulimia, we're talking anorexia, we're talking about women who make their eyes look like, you know, silver dollars. There's something really wrong. We, we have gray hair, we have brown hair, we have red hair, we have whatever color we hair have. We, we have all different bodies. We must honor ourselves. <clears throat> Japanese anime does not do it as much. It, I, I read, I've, I've been doing a lot of research on this. <clears throat> and there was this one guy <clears throat> who said, what are you talking about? There's no strong women uh, in, in the Japanese world. I mean, in, in Japan, the women are, there's, there's a strong matriarch society, and I, I'm going, what? And they said, the women are in charge of the family. They're in charge of the pocketbooks. They're in charge of the children. Hello, there is more to life than that. And, you know, it's kind of like a volcano that you keep suppressed for a really long time, and all of a sudden the volcano is building and building and building, and then it erupts like this, this is going to happen. This is going to happen to our civilization because you cannot keep people suppressed. They are eventually going to explode. And it happens everywhere in our society. And we have got, I, I love anime. I, I honor all of you. I mean, not only that you give me a place where I can earn a living, but <laughs> I honor all of you because you are the intelligentsia of, of, of our young world. Because anime honors the, the more noble questions. It honors metaphysical and spiritual and psychological and philosophical uh, discussions. And this is why you're here. You're not here because you love cartoons. You're, well, you know, you may be also, but I think that the majority of the anime lovers are here because it honors the deeper questions. People go to church, they go to temple, in order to ask the deeper spiritual questions. Um, you go to our television. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, there is, there, there is truth to that. There is truth to that, because within the world of anime, you can explore the deeper topics. You can explore all this. Um, there are women have become less than in all in, in most of the roles of anime. <clears throat> there are not roles for normal women. When you go, and I go for auditions, and I've been doing this 27 years, <clears throat> here's the little girl who talks like this, and she's cute, and hi, what are you doing today? Oh, I'm going to go meet my friend Spike. What are you doing? And that's the lollicon, the cute little bunny looking people. <clears throat> and incidentally, Sailor Moon, I, you know, she's part of Lollicon, but what does she look like? She's dressed like a Playboy bunny. Yes. Does it bother anyone else that she's 14? She looks like that. She's an 18 year old boyfriend. Yeah. Actually, he's Hello. older. Hello. Well, this gets me around to the core of this that the role of women in anime is a male fantasy. It's not about the reality of what women are which is that, uh, you know, there was, there was an interactive game that I directed years ago. I don't know whether any of you ever played it or have it or have heard of it. It was called Jade Cocoon. Woo! You have it? Oh, yes. I love that game. Talk about the game. It's good. Um, did you hear about the 
hear about Jake Cocoon too? Um, I did Jake Cocoon a lot. Okay. Um, well, Jake Cocoon, it's, it's this incredible society where it's based upon um, the, well, pretty much a concept mm -hmm. where you've got the girl who is the purifier and the guy who's the capturer. And he goes out of these forests and he gets these, these creatures and he brings back the, um, it's been a lot of stuff later, but the cocoons are the source yes. of the power. And then the girl purifies them. And during this process, she starts to lose part of herself. And, and, and it becomes a death. Yeah. So that every time the woman helps to purify and save other people, she dies a little bit more of a death. So that after she has helped everyone, she dies. When I was directing it, I was sobbing because, but, but what I'm talking about in Jade Cocoon, and correct me if I'm, not wrong, if, if I'm not right, but it is a profound exploration of the role. I'm not saying that women have to be men or men have to be women. I'm not talking about that. I mean, men have, have profound, profound things that they are about. Women also have profound things that they are about. And it's about honoring who we each are and coming together to make the greater of the whole. And, and in anime, I'm, I'm, I'm losing more people. She, Me too. She has a thing called she has. Oh, good. In, in anime, women have become uh, almost like playboy, Hugh Hefner, non-existent kind of playthings for a man. So that, I, I mean, we look at all the young girls here. We don't want our young girls to be bulimic. We don't want them to go out and have surgery so that they feel less than. We want them to feel unique and profound and explore the philosophical and psychological things that anime is about. But Part of this is from the Japanese culture because the Japanese culture has kept women in a suppressed place for too long. I mean, you know, they're coming out and there's uh, certain cartoons, which I'm not, I, I, I must admit that I don't know which are, fu, fushi, fushiki? Fushiki. Thank you which is, is more about a woman who has a career, a young girl who has a career. One of the troubles that I have with a lot of the heroines is they do not get that status of their own doing. It's because like, well, you're the reincarnation of someone fantastic, or hey, you happen to accidentally yes. fall in. You're a stupid gluttony, so we're gonna let you do your job anyways, even if you suck at it. And you wander around bouncing off the walls and you have to be saved all the time, but because, because the bottom line of it is that women are less than men, so that a male hero has got to save even the heroine. Which is like mm -hmm. girls like revolutionary girls. I can think of at least. Speak up louder so we can all hear. I, I can think of one anime where the, the hero is actually has to be saved by the woman. Mm -hmm. At the uh, towards the end of Bubblegum Crisis, Mega Tokyo 2040, Leon has to be saved by the Night Savers. But at the same time, there are, there are still those same kind of stereotypes within those four main characters. Um, you, you've got the really busty one. You, you've got the stick skinny rail boy looking one. Chris is a little different, but she's kind of the stereotype where the stereotypical tomboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Com completely, completely closed off. 